Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are actually going to be looking at motion stabilization in a static shot. So, a shot where the uh, the camera isn't moving at all. Uh, recently, with my camera, the it's pretty old, and uh, it's it's kind of on its last legs. So, uh, every time I take a picture, the shutter kind of moves uh, the frame a little bit and it gets very shaky. This is not, this is actually a shot from On Beat Man's upcoming Lego Star Wars The Last Jedi Kylo Ren on set uh, video that should be coming out pretty soon. Um, I'm just working on some visual effects for it, uh, the, the mouth animation in particular for this, uh, uh, this shot. But as you can see, um, the camera it, it's kind of shaky and he had he has the same problem um, and I've been dealing dealing with this this kind of problem for quite a while now and I've kind of found a workaround it does it does take uh, it does add some time to my workflow uh, but it seems to work out pretty well um, but as you can see it's it's pretty shaky and he also films at 24 frames per second so there's more frames and more shake um, so I have all the, these are like the mouth layers, so I'm going to pre-compose these right here. Okay, and now it's all one uh, composition, but we're actually going to split um, it in two, into two different compositions when um, the shot changes. So we're going to control shift D and that will divide those two. So this first one, right now, uh, we're going to go over to stabilize. Okay, so if you don't have the tracker window open, I'm going to go up to window, find tracker. Obviously, you can see I have it open. I'm going to turn it off. Then we go to window, tracker, and then turn tracker on. So that should appear over here in the After Effects um, kind of layout. We're going to hit stabilize motion. And now we, it, we come up with this little tracker box. And uh, we're going to look for... Uh, a part on the screen that kind of stands out from the rest and what I see is this little kind of this uh, light coming through um, behind this camera right here it works pretty well so we're gonna kind of size this to the correct size kind of surround it like that we can make this a little bit smaller the bigger this box is the longer it's gonna take to track and since there's not that much motion um, we can make it pretty small like if you wanted if it was moving more you you want to make this larger so it it has more space to kind of uh, for tracking data and stuff. Uh, so right here, we're gonna want to hit this this little play buttons, analyze forward. And as you can see, as the the clip plays, the tracker point will kind of follow this red dot. And when it's kind of a static and not moving, it won't move. But then when he animates, as you can see, it will it will move. So we're just going to do this for this shot. I'm going to see how that turns out. All right. So as you can see, if you're happy with how this kind of tracked and how it followed it, we're going to go over here down to the bottom in the, the corner and hit apply. Hit OK. And as you can see, the, uh, the like the outsides of the the shot kind of move a little bit. But what which, which one I do to fix that? Let's just zoom in a tad, just a bit, and uh, let's see how that looks. So as you can see, that for the most part fixed uh, the motion or this like. It, the little shakiness that it had. So now it looks it looks pretty good, I think. So yeah, that was that little tutorial on uh, motion stabilization uh, and After Effects using uh, stabilized motion. So if this tutorial helps you out in any way, uh, go ahead and feel free to give this video a like, uh, comment on what you want to see next, and uh, please uh, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. You know, at times like this, I just need to take some time to myself and take a deep breath <sighs> and say to myself, it's all for Star Wars. It'll be worth it someday.